क्वेश्चन नंबर एट प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग द पी वी सी कंपनी मैनुफैक्चर द हाई क्वालिटी प्लास्टिक पाइप इन टू डिपार्टमेंट्स कुकिंग एंड मोल्डिंग मटीरियल आर इंट्रोड्यूस एट वेरियस पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग वर्क इन द कुकिंग डिपार्टमेंट आफ्टर द कुकिंग इज कम्पलीटेड द मटीरियल आर ट्रांसफर इन टू द मोल्डिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन विच पाइप इज फॉर्म सेलेक्टिंग डाटा सेलेक्टेड डाटा रिलेटिंग टू द कुकिंग डिपार्टमेंट ड्यूरिंग मे आर गिवेन बिलो प्रोडक्शन डाटा Pounds and process May first material hundred percent complete conversion ninety percent complete seventy thousand beginning units pound started into production during May three lakh fifty thousand during units pounds completed and transferred to the molding there is question mark we have to find process pounds and process May thirty first material seventy five percent complete conversion twenty five percent complete okay. Cost data work in process inventory beginning May first. It material cost eighty six, conversion cost thirty six thousand, material cost eighty six thousand, conversion cost thirty six thousand. Cost data during May, material cost four lakh forty seven thousand, conversion cost one lakh ninety eight thousand. The company uses the weighted average method. Okay, requirement is compute the equivalent unit of production. First requirement is to find the equivalent unit of production. First, we will put the values in the T account of process. Beginning units is seventy thousand. During unit is three lakh fifty thousand. Completed and at end completed. We need to find and at end there is uh, I think forty thousand units, right? How we will calculate the completed unit? Four lakh twenty thousand. Minus forty thousand, right? So the value of completed unit is three lakh eighty thousand. Okay, come towards the first requirement, that is equivalent units of production, right? The completed unit is three lakh eighty thousand. There was unit, so there was no sign of any currency, right? Three lakh eighty thousand. How we will calculate ending work in process? Ending work in. Process first material material that is forty thousand multiply by percentage was seventy five percent and for conversion there was again forty thousand multiply by twenty five percent. So the ending work in process is forty thousand multiplied by seventy five percent is thirty thousand, and forty thousand equal multiplied by twenty five percent is ten thousand. So total is three lakh three lakh eighty thousand plus of thirty thousand, right? Conversion is three lakh eighty plus ten thousand. So we have calculated the equivalent unit of production. Clear. Now move towards cost per equivalent unit. Cost per equivalent unit. Cost of cost of beginning work in process. Beginning work in. Process that is May first. May first, what was the cost? Thi? Okay, move towards the cost data. There is a cost data is also mentioned here. Cost data work in process May first with material so eighty six thousand with respect to conversion thirty six thousand. So we will write here eighty six thousand and second one is thirty six thousand. Right? Can check again. Eighty six and thirty six, right? Cost added with respect to material four forty seven. Cost added during 
द पीरियड इज फोर लैख फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड दस वन एज वन लैख So the total cost is so the total cost is eighty six plus of four lakh forty seven thousand five thirty three and the conversion is thirty six plus of one lakh ninety eight. Okay, cost per unit equal to total cost divided by total unit. We need to find cost per equivalent unit. So what we will do? We will divide total cost by total unit. Now, the total unit, equivalent unit of production, we have already calculated. Equivalent units of production, we have already calculated. That is four lakh ten thousand above. There's a value above and uh, three lakh in part A, three lakh ninety thousand. Okay. Now what we need to do cost per equivalent unit, right? Cost per equivalent unit. What we will do? Cost divided by total number of units, one point three. And the second for the conversion is point six. Okay. Beginning cost to add करने टोटल कर लीजिए बिजमिन कॉस्ट वन लैख ट्वेंटी टू कॉस्ट एडिट को एड कर लीजिए ओके नाउ आर सेकेंड रिक्वायरमेंट इज कम्प्लीट कॉस्ट पर इक्विपमेंट यूनिट नाउ वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द थर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ एंडिंग वर्क इन प्रोसेस एंड यूनिट ट्रांसफर आउट ओके एंडिंग वर्क इन प्रोसेस इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट द यूनिट्स Obviously, we have already found it above, but again, I am doing it for you. Okay, forty thousand units multiplied by seventy-five percent. Forty thousand units multiplied by twenty-five percent. So here we will get thirty thousand, and here we will get ten thousand. Above we have done it, right? Okay. Again, I am writing here the formula: cost per unit equal to total cost divided by total unit. Here, what we want here we want the cost, right? Total cost. So, we will do what? Cost per unit. We will multiply by total unit. Cost per unit multiplied by total unit equal to total cost. How? Cost per unit. Cost per unit above. What is the answer? Is 1.3 and here 0.6. Right? Okay. The ending work in process inventory is calculate these two values. 30,000 multiplied by 1.3. The cost is 39,000. 10,000 multiplied by 0.6. That is 6,000. So the total ending inventory cost is 39 plus 6 equal to 45,000, right? So what we have done here, we have calculated the cost of ending WIP. Cost of ending WIP. Cost of ending WIP. मतलब ending inventory की cost, right? Okay, now we need to find the cost of completed and transfer out unit. Completed and transfer out, you know, the value of the completed and transfer out unit. Completed and transfer out units, right? Completed and transfer out units we have already calculated that is three lakh eighty thousand in the units T account right we will first create the units right from here we will take the value of three lakh eighty thousand okay 
3 lakh 80,000 3 lakh 80,000 ok cost per unit is cost per unit is again we have already calculated calculate here we have already calculated these two values so the completed and transfer out so the cost of cost of completed and transfer out inventory is 3 lakh 80 multiplied by 1.3 again the same formula will be used here so 3 lakh 80 multiplied by 0.6 Again, we will sum, sum the values of total completed and transfer out unit that is 7,22,000, right? Okay, we have done three parts. The equivalent unit, the cost per equivalent unit, and the cost of ending WIP in the unit transfer out cost. Now, what we will do, we will calculate the, uh, we will do prepare the cost reconciliation. Prepare a cost reconciliation between the cost determined in part 3. In part 3, two costs we have found. The ending inventory uh, cost and the transfer cost. Right. Okay. And the cost of beginning and cost added during the period. It is already mentioned here. Cost of beginning and cost added. This is the cost of beginning and this is the cost of added during the period. Right. So we will use these two values and we will prepare the cost reconciliation. Again, I'm preparing for you. Cost of beginning is C1,22,000, right? Cost added during the period, that is 6,45,000. So the total debit side is 7,67,000. What about completed? This is the value of the completed, 7,22,000. And what about end that is 45,000 right so both sides are equal we will sum and check that both sides are equal or not yes both sides are equal okay ye humne kya banaya ye humne gross cost reconciliation banaya kis form mein t account mein t account ko humne break kiya hai ek units mein ek cost mein First one, we have units. Now, we have to pick up cost. So, beginning cost 1,22 during 6,45, completed 7,22, and the ending is 45. Okay. So, we have to show T. Now, we have to do a statement. Cost. Cost of beginning. 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 Cost after during the period that is again six lakh forty five thousand. Okay, it must be equal to the other side. Okay, completed. Completed kitna? Completed and transfer out is equal to seven lakh twenty two thousand. Completed and transferred out. Okay, now at and ending value is 45,000 right 6 lakh 70 uh, s s s uh, sorry 7 lakh 67,000 right here we have checked same value here we have prepared the statement the same value so the total cost to be accounted for is equal to total cost accounted for right of the and of the solution 8 right so do practice more and more thank you